Oh boy, do we have some stuff to talk about on this one. So a few days ago, a video started going around from LG. They put this video out on YouTube and in this video, they were showing off kind of like Samsung likes to do. They were showing off a bunch of tech of the future, things that they were working on. One of the things that they show in this video is a 360 degree foldable OLED display. You can see here it opens up and then it folds all the way back around. Let's go back because they don't spend much time on this. It opens up and then it's actually able to fold in a 360 degree motion, very similar to Surface Duo, right? So this video came out on May 11th, as you can see here. I actually had have a, a bookmark folder on my computer where I will bookmark possible news story topics, things I might wanna talk about. I actually had this in my topics. I looked at it and I just thought, there's just not much there for me to talk about. It would be very speculative. It would basically have just been me saying, hey guys, look at this cool thing that LG is making. I thought about maybe putting it in a news radar episode. I just didn't think there was much there to talk about. Well, that has very, very much changed because 124 today, which is about four and a half hours ago, a guy named Walking Cat tweeted this. This is a patent that he managed to, I don't know if he came across this or what, who, who discovered this, but this is a patent filed by Microsoft. And this is a potentially really big deal. Let's actually go into the patent here. And uh, we're gonna kind of look at, at what, we, what we have here because this is, this is, again, potentially a pretty big deal. So what Microsoft apparently has patented as we scroll through these is a device which has a single folding OLED display, but not just a single folding OLED display, a single folding OLED display, if I scroll down through these, which we're gonna look at some of these a little bit more, a display that actually, you can see here's the screen in that teardrop configuration as it is folded completely over, but if we keep going here, you're gonna see a scenario where the display is folded one way, and then it is folded back the other way. They've patented a device which would do pretty much exactly what we have here in this video. Now we've talked on this channel many times already about how apparently Duo 3, Surface Duo 3, is not coming anytime soon. They're waiting. They want to get the software right on Duo and Duo 2 before moving on to new hardware. So there's going to be a longer gap between Duo 2 and Duo 3. Is it because something crazy like this is happening? Is it because they are about to abandon the whole Duo thing and just have a folding OLED display? There's a few things that there's a lot of things to talk about on this subject. But one important thing to think about is something that I've talked about repeatedly. Android sees this as one screen. Android does not care that there is a hinge in the middle. There is all, all of this is done via software, okay? It's all done via software. They could take the exact same software from here and they could put it on a single OLED display and make it such that there is a, a software partition down the middle and if you open an app, I mean, use a tablet. Put a, put a line down the middle in software. If you click an app on this side, it opens automatically in a split window over here. If you click an app on this side, it opens in a split window over there. That could absolutely 100% be done. And if you look at the aspect ratio here, this is it's maintaining the same duo shape and size. I mean, that's, that's duo. That's duo, but instead of two screens, it's one folding screen. But then when you talk about a device like a Z Fold, which is very similar to that, there's a huge difference here. It's that because this thing can only fold one direction, it is using an ultra thin glass and ultra thin glass can't stretch. So you can either, you can only fold in, you can't fold out because folding out apparently requires the screen to stretch. So by virtue of that, you have to have a cover display. Well, on a device like that, you could still do the duo thing and fold it around and that's your display. You, you don't have to have a cover display in this instance. You could just 
fold around and then it's all screen on the outside. Something similar to what Huawei has with their XS devices, except again, it can fold in both directions. There's obviously massive fragility concerns for me on a device like that, where the softer than Victus or Corning Gorilla Glass, that is constantly exposed in that phone mode. Although with this, you could keep it closed. I keep my Duo, Duo 1 or Duo 2, it's closed all the time. And in fact, even in phone mode, I literally refuse to set it screen down on any surface that isn't soft. I will grab a towel, I will grab a, a mouse pad, have a mouse pad on my uh, bedside table, and that's what my Duo sits on because I do leave it in phone mode uh, while I'm sleeping because it's my alarm clock. I just set it down on a mouse pad. I do not set my phone down on any hard surface with the glass, the screen facing down. Well, with something like this, you would definitely want to avoid doing that. And then you have to imagine there's screen on this edge here. Your glance bar would be really good, right? I mean, that'd be a really good glance bar, but at that point, it's just open, so you don't need a glance bar. But anyways, there's screen there just exposed on that edge coming in and out of your pocket. Is that going to be a problem? And then, of course, there's the elephant in the room. You're going from two screens to one screen, and I know I just said that you can use software to simulate two screens, but that's not the same. And Panos Panay has spent the last two years telling us why that's not the same, telling us how your brain perceives two physically partitioned spaces differently, your brain lights up differently, and you behave differently. I would have to see this firsthand. I would have to actually, I, I think, have this in my hands or have some really brilliant demonstration of some sort to convince me that doing this in software, that my brain would treat it the same as it treats this. Because I know for a fact that when I have to manually distribute the apps and split screen them, I do not treat it the same at all. I do not treat this device the same as this device at all, despite the fact that I can split window on this and do many of the same things. Because it's a manual process, I don't do it the same. Would software that does that automatically for you make it so that it's just as good as this? And you gain and you gain the benefit of being able to full screen a video, full screen a game. If that's possible, if that's the case, maybe this is a really good idea. I mean, we can look at Duo One, and we know that one of the biggest complaints everyone had was the camera sucks, the camera sucks, the camera sucks. So Microsoft said, fine, whatever. We'll just slap a camera on the back of it. We know that they are willing to listen to these criticisms, for better or for worse. The other big criticism is that people don't like the line down the middle. Are they likely to listen to that criticism and do this? And if they are, are they going to be able to produce software that would allow this device to be differentiated from other devices that are already similar and then in a lot of ways are already really, really, really good, really well established, and the software is already polished. This is a huge leap for them. Can they get the software right? I don't know. I'm going to have to ruminate about this for like a week. I'm going to drop a poll on my community page, though. I don't know how I'm going to word it yet, but it's going to be something about are you in favor of this or not. Please vote on that. Comment down below. This may or may not be a thing that ever matters. It could just be a patent, although I do need to call this out because Daniel Rubino wrote an article 42 minutes ago, and he actually wrote here at the bottom that there have been some hints Microsoft may be reconsidering the dual screen approach for Surface Duo and may try to do something with a foldable display. I'm going to drop a link to that article down below because obviously he's got much more to say than just that. So if you want to see more from him, Link down below for that. Crazy news story, like I said, pinch of salt may not lead anywhere. Let me know what you think about this, though, in the comments down below, just in case. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>